good morning good afternoon or good evening guys wherever you are uh, and different locations i'm coming live today bringing you another video uh, before i start if you are new please look at my content and uh, i'm asking your support as always if uh, you are returning uh, thank you so much for the opportunity you are giving me by looking at my videos and supporting me. Uh, followers or subscribers, uh, they asked me a question and I wanted to take this opportunity to make a video and uh, address uh, this uh, question so they actually wanted to know how they can uh, uh, sign up with selectors or mean truck looks like uh, the subscriber is a tracker and they just wanted to to know if I can walk them through so I will try my best to do that and what I usually do is uh, use uh, my computer laptop so I'm gonna uh, pull the information right there and I can uh, uh, show you what you're supposed to do first thing you have to do I will go to this uh, uh, Omin track uh, website right here and after you are here so you have to scroll down to the contact for this uh, uh, cell support right here it says if we want to speak to a specialist today Uh, complete the form to have a sales representative to contact you or there's a phone number here you have to call and it's triple eight seven nine five three two eight eight and parenthesis one eight hundred selectors uh, if you wanted more information so basically for today, I wanted to show you how you can uh, get in contact with them. So what you, you need to do is uh, you have to do your name, get your first name here. And last name. And then I give them an email address. Uh, the reason why I'm not putting the email address is I'm not doing it for real because at the end of it, it's gonna need me to submit and uh, I do not want to submit the information uh, if I'm not doing it for real. So after putting the email address, the reason they ask for your email address is so they can respond to you or if they need any documents they can easily uh, channel uh, the message to your email address. So make sure you give them a valid email address and uh, a phone number. If they, for some reason, they'd like to talk to you about the registration process, they can uh, easily lead you. Also, what you need to do, tell them your company name and before you do this make sure your company is registered you have an mc number and a dot number uh, the difference between a dot number and a mc number mc number is uh, if you wanted to cross uh, state lines uh, that is uh, a permit to do that is a motor carrier number and dot number is the authority also don't forget to tell them your fleet size 
if they don't uh, if you don't have a fleet size from here they show you have to have a fleet size the minimum is uh, between one truck to ten trucks and the maximum is 101 uh, plus so if you are a new carrier to get started make sure you have uh, 10 uh, uh, units before you can apply otherwise they might not approve or the system will not let you to uh, to continue because if you see this uh, small star here that means this is a requirement and also to select a country where you are if you are in the united states uh, mexico or canada uh, make sure you select that so after inputting all this information uh, read through here sign me to receive industry news and the products update from Omnitrack. I agree to the policy uh, privacy. So you need to uh, click over here, and uh, so you can read by yourself uh, the policy before you submit. So if I try uh, agree to the privacy policy and to the handling of my personal information. In particular, I consider the transfer of personal information to other countries, including the United States, for the purpose of hosting and processing the information as set forth in privacy policy. By registering, you confirm that you agree to the restoring of the processing of your personal data, the main tracks as described in the privacy policy. By registering, I confirm that I have read and agreed so if you wanted you can click here and the system is going to take you to the private policy uh, you read through and understand before you register if you meet the qualifications and you agree to the terms and conditions then uh, you can uh, it's a lot but uh, my advice is uh, go through and read everything you see here uh, before you sign up so when you see all through here next thing you do um let me see go back and uh, go back here and since you, if you have the, all the information, I know it's not going to allow me to submit because I haven't entered uh, all the information required here. So if I try to submit, it's not going to allow me to do that. So basically, that's how you are supposed to uh send this information and uh, after a few days as soon as they get your uh, your submission they will either call you or they can email you and uh, if they need additional information uh, they will be able to uh, they will be able to speak to you. So basically, it doesn't have much, and that's all you have. But from the general information, what I know is um, they just uh, want to know if you have a DOT number, you have insurance, get your insurance together, and. Um, uh, put the units you have if you have 10 vehicles like that's their requirement list the VIN numbers if they ask you those VIN numbers make sure you have them handy uh, to send to them and then from there they should be able to tell you the pricing and you should be able to be set 